Hi everyone, welcome to the course Manufacturing Processes 1. Let's discuss about unit number 6. Today we'll talk about machining time calculations. There is a numerical always asked in university examination for 5 to 6 marks on this unit, on this topic. As we know, machining calculations for turning operation on lathe has several parameters such as spindle speed, cutting speed, speed rate, depth of cut, machining time, and material removal rate could be the two objective functions. Where speed, feed, and depth of cut could be the process parameters. Spindle speed can be calculated as spindle speed n is nothing but number of revolutions per minute. It can be calculated by dividing cutting speed with pi into diameter of the workpiece, outer diameter of the workpiece. Whereas feed rate can be determined by multiplying the number of revolutions n with given feed that would be in millimeters per minute. Depth of cut is normally in millimeters which is nothing but original diameter minus final diameter divided by 2. And machining time we can determine by total cutting length divided by feed rate. Let's take an example. This is a type of normal example being asked in university examinations for about 5 to 6 marks. A mild steel rod having 50 mm diameter and 500 mm length is to be turned on a lathe. Determine the machining time to reduce the rod to 40. Speed is 30 millimeter per minute and a speed of 0.7 millimeter per revolution is used. So let's take a look at what is the given data. We have been given that the outer diameter of the workpiece is 50, original diameter of the workpiece, let's say, is 50 millimeters, and we want to convert it to final diameter as 45 millimeters. In one single pass, it means we have depth of cut as 2.5 whereas total cutting length can be determined by considering a single turning operation from length of the workpiece is to be turned the 500 millimeters the cutting speed is given v is equals to 30 meter per minute and feed has been given which is nothing but 0.7 millimeter per revolution as we know cutting speed can be determined by pi dm divided by 1000 meter per minute which gives us number of revolutions about 191 rpm in this case the cutting speed was given and we were supposed to calculate the number of revolutions per minute why do we need number of revolutions is we need to calculate the machining time as well and we know to determine machining time we need to calculate feed rate and to determine feed rate we need to calculate we need to multiply number of revolutions with feed so feed is given 0.7 multiplied by number of revolutions 191 per minute it gives us feed rate as 133.7 mm per minute. If we divide total cutting length 500 mm with feed rate 133.7 mm per minute millimeter millimeter goes off and we get machining time required to convert 50 mm diameter rod to 45 mm diameter in one single pass 
is 3.73 minutes. That's so simple that we can easily get 5 marks in the university examinations. So all the best friends.